Hey what is up guys I'm Guillermo from Android Tech and recently guys I got Sony Vegas Pro 14 is the newest version of Sony Vegas so I realized why not make a video of how the best settings on Sony Vegas Pro 14 like the rendering settings um, how to render the highest quality on it so since a lot of people have been asking me and I am really sorry guys if I haven't been uploading as much as I used to on this channel uh, that's because I've been actually very busy with schoolwork and you know I've been uploading on my main channel uh like every week so yeah i'm really sorry if i haven't been active on this channel as much as i used to be but with all that being said guys uh let's go ahead and open sony vegas pro 14 so as you can see it's this one right here and um i still have the older model the older version of sony vegas pro 13 um it's just on my desktop right here so let me as you can see it's right here uh let me search it up sony vegas or I think I deleted it. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think I deleted it because um, I don't really use it. Uh, I mostly use Sony Vegas Pro 14 and Premiere Pro CC um, 2015. So as you can see, this Premiere Pro CS6 actually. And um, yeah, they they're both work pretty good. Um, but I mostly use Sony Vegas Pro 14 because of the ease of use. Um, because Premiere Pro CS6, it's kind of hard for beginners. Uh, but you'll get used to it um when i first started using sony vegas i was like premiere i didn't know how to you know edit but that's because i got used to it uh, with sony vegas so right now i'm more familiar of using sony vegas rather than the other programs out there so so yeah um i highly recommend you guys to get sony vegas pro 14 if you guys like if you guys are starting out a youtube channel and don't really want those um you know hard editing softwares out there because there's a lot of programs but they're pretty hard like we have Premiere Pro CS6, Premiere Pro CS5 and Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015 and we have the other programs like for the um, Final Cut Pro for Macintosh and all that um, uh, Apple stuff so yeah I just recommend you guys to use Sony Vegas um, you know Sony Vegas Pro 13 all the older models are still pretty good but I just recommend you highly recommend you guys to get Sony Vegas Pro 14 because the timeline it's way easier to edit on so let me open it up right now so what i mean by easier um you know because on sony vegas i've used sony vegas pro 10 11 and 12 and 13 and right now i'm on 14 so i've used plenty of sony vegas softwares and i gotta say i really love the newest one the 14 um it just the rendering speeds are way faster i noticed that the speeds on sony vegas pro 14 are faster than sony vegas pro 13 uh well that's because probably they you know they added this little um bug issues that because i noticed that sony vegas pro 13 had a lot of issues uh when i used to edit um you know my screen used to get freeze and all that but now they i think they finally um <coughs> solved that with pro 14 so yeah so let me go to file and let me just render a little se sequence right now to show you guys uh, my rendering um, you know options that I currently have so let me just get oh yeah I, I made this little um, picture guys with the big ears um, so let me just get a random video all these videos are actually the ones that I did for my brother um, you guys are, don't know he has a YouTube channel so yeah make sure to check him out but anyways, let me just get these right here, the lens shots that I got a couple of weeks ago when I was shooting my 50mm lens test, video test. So if you guys haven't watched that video, make sure you do so. I'll leave an annotation on top of here or it'll be down below in the description. But anyways, um, let me just drag some, uh, all the, you know, footage right here. Um, so as you can see, I already have the sequence there. Um, and so what I really like about, like I said, Sony Vegas Pro uh, 14 is that every time when you turn, when you are trying to connect a clip, uh, for example, let me show you guys, like this, as you can see when I try to connect the clip, um, Sony Vegas Pro 13, like every time you, you try to connect the clip, it'll always, you know, surpass the clip, that uh, second clip or the first clip. But this one with this one, you all you have to do is just go like that and as you can see, it shows a little highlight a blue highlight that you could just leave it there and boom there you go and what the other one it was just it, it just got confusing or just annoying sometimes uh but with this one i think they they just fixed that and i was like i always wondered why not they fixed that but with this one they already did so so that's pretty awesome so um let me just render this little sequence guys 
that I did. Um, so let me go back and let me highlight it. Boom, there we go. So now let's go to file, render as, and then let's uh, name it and all that. So this is just gonna be a demonstration on my rendering settings or the best settings that you could render. Um, <coughs> all right, so let me just render, let me just name it test. All right, test. So, so what you have, so what you have to do is that, um, so you want to select this um, option right here where it says Windows Media Video V11 WMV. Click on that one and then go down. And then if if you have like a 1080p video, which I'm currently uh, gonna render a 1080p video, but if you have like a 720p or below, then I don't recommend you guys to use these settings because um, these settings are um too like too big for 720p i recommend you guys if you guys have like if your video is in uh 1080p quality so yeah after that you want to render it in 8 megabytes hd 1080p at 30 frames per second so and the reason why i like this option because all these options right here for example 6.7 6 megabytes that's going to be a little choppy um it's not going to be as smooth as 8 uh megabytes per second in uh, full hd HD 30 frames per second uh, but if you if say you're doing like a little you know like a little short film or something like that a little cinematic film then I recommend you to put it on on this one right here this one the 25 frames per second the reason why is because uh, short films won't look as good with uh, 30 frames per second they don't look they'll look more cinematic in 25 frames per second so yeah for example this is not this is not a short film, so I'm just going to leave it at 30 frames per second. This is all the op options that I use, guys, on my videos. So, yeah, um, just follow this tutorial and it'll... So, yeah, after that, just go to Customize Template. So, this is where we're going to do a lot of things, guys. So, click there. And from here, you want to click the model. You want to have it as CBR, as you can see, CBR. And for format, you want to have it at Windows Media Audio 9.2. But if you have, like, a, another, you know... Um, windows media player then for example there's a lot right here but i'm just gonna have it at this one the middle one windows media audio 9.2 because this one i noticed that the quality of the video audio um it's sounds much better than the other ones um and i actually try the other two so yeah that one was the best one the one that sits for me <laughs> but yeah uh right here attributes you want to have it at 192 kilobytes per second 48 gigahertz stereo av cbr so have it as that op option right here this one so yeah after that um just go to after that guys you're all set so what you want to do save it click um save template I, i'm not gonna uh, click on save because i already have it saved but after this you're gonna want to go to video right here video and uh let's go here so as you can see just follow these steps guys so for the uh model just click on cbr windows media 9 and um for the video smoothness smoothness you want to have it all the way to 100 percent sharpness and after that guys just go to project right here on the very last uh thing right here and for right here click on video rendering quality click the best so this this one is going to give you the best rendering quality on here so after that just click ok and boom and after that just click render right here guys and there the video will render at the highest rendering settings so that's gonna do it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed it make sure to hit that like and also guys comment